check if it's a Polish track. No, it's an English track and it's about improving your communication. When if you know who is listening, then you will know what to say. So don't worry, I will talk English even if it's hard for me. <laughs> um, I'm Elisa, I'm a media designer and I'm a marketing specialist and I'm self-employed since 2009. I work with Joomla since, since 2006 and I joined the marketing working group in uh, 2015. I'm from Nuremberg, Germany. Um, the session is about strategic planning of communication and there are a lot of steps to do before uh, you roll out your communication. Uh, first you have to do of course your analysis, determine who are you, who are your customers, uh, what are your strengths, um, who are your competitors. You have to check everything, um, what, what's the basic situation. And the session will be about the communication strategy, not even about <coughs> developing it then or about the creative part. It will um, not contain the testing afterwards. It's just a small part, but it's so very important. As a case study, I took uh, the topic volunteering for Joomla. I know this is not a product or not a service, but it's also something we want to sell. Um, I had this idea because Brian Tiemann had a presentation in Joomla Day Netherlands about volunteering, and he worked out very good the motivations of the target groups, and so I just took his uh, insights and uh, put it into my presentation. Thanks, Brian, please. Um, first, um, you describe personas. You saw this in Christos' um, keynote very well. She described it very good. And um, I have to read it for you. Um, I created four personas. It's not detailed like it should be, but uh, it gives you an idea. The first one is Paula Studios. <coughs> she is 21 years old. Paula is maintaining the university website with other students. All that she had learned about Joomla, she has got from the forum Joomla.org and from docsjoomla.org websites. She is very thankful for all the help other people gave her during the studies. She's very good at PHP and is able to write code lightweight and well structured. <laughs> the next one, John Doe, will maybe uh, someone reflects uh, him or herself in John Doe, at least I'm doing. Uh, John is maintaining over 100 Joomla websites. He's working on his own. In the evening, he likes to go out, have some beer. He is heavily involved in the Joomla community. He has a glib, uh, he's on Glib daily and attends conferences just uh, such as J and Beyond or Joomla Days. He's managing the Joomla user group from Lauren Ipsum City and he's active on Twitter and always post, always shares posts um, from Joomla.org on Facebook. And John is always busy. The next persona is Walter. Uh, he's a hobby web worker and Walter is retired and started with Joomla in 2014. He has a lot of time and owns a huge blog about gardening and regularly attends the Joomla user group in Lorem Ipsum City. He isn't a professional and needs a lot of help from people in the user group to maintain his site. He's very thankful and appreciates, uh, appreciates all the help. And the last one, uh, some of the German community uh, members might know her, it's Maggie Mu. <laughs> She's a web manager in the company. She has a lot, uh, she has a nine to five job, works in a medium sized company. She manages different websites and landing pages. She got involved with Joomla in 2013 when there was a Joomla day in her city. After getting in contact with some people, <coughs> the from the community, she is highly involved and likes to be part of it. Sorry, the font on my computer is also very small. Um, how do you create personal profiles or personas? Um, you can do market research, you can um, use a company uh, or do it yourself. 
There are a lot of existing statistics on the internet you can use. I have just Google it. In Germany, there's a service called Statista. Um, there's a lot of uh, information on it, but I, I don't know about the international ones. Um, you can use your web page analytics, you can use Facebook Insights, or the best thing is to interview the people and speak with them directly. What are their needs? What do they like to do? Just get in touch with your customers and non-customers. And after that, when you have your personas, um, you create motivations. Because what's the motivation to buy something, a product, uh, or use a service, or being a volunteer? And so Paula's motivations is, uh, are, uh, it seems she will make a big career in that business, not only because of her talent, but also thanks to all the people who helped her. Since the first question on the forum, she tried to help less experienced users as well. So she wants to give something back. And the thank you on the forum are very motivating for her, as well as the number of stars and likes on GitHub. Her motivation is also increasing her self-confidence. Um, the third motivation I uh, created for Paula, she wants to teach other people something for free and it doesn't matter. Spreading knowledge makes the world a better place. So she, her motivation is a greater good. Oh. Uh, what are John Doe's motivations? He wants to be well and widely known as a junior specialist and to reach more customers and earn more money. As a manager of the Joomla user group Lorem Ipso City, he is locally known as a Joomla expert. So he is doing it also for self-benefit. You are not only volunteering <coughs> to help others, you can also help yourself. Jo uh, John loves his job and likes to do more in his passionate field, besides uh, sometimes boring routine work for clients. So John is doing it also for hobby. And neither his family or friends understand him as well as his community buddies are doing. By volunteering, he is making contact with people on the safe, same wavelength. So he is doing volunteering for friendship. What about Walter? Walter has a very bad conscience because he receives a lot of help and has no clue how to give back. He is not very technical, talented. If somebody tells him exactly what to do, he is happy to help. So what he wants to give back. He doesn't know that he already does because um, he is very proud of his gardening website and wants to show it as many people he can. Next to the user group, he will show his flower database and explain people how he learned um, to work with the custom fields. So it's increasing her self-confidence, showing others, ah, oh, look what I have created, but he's teaching also others how he gets started. And as he's retired, he has spare time and helps organizing the user group meetings. He likes to go there. It's a special atmosphere and he likes to meet the people. What is doing it for friendship and hobby. Last one, Maggie. Uh, she thinks it's Joomla is awesome, and by participating, she has become very well known. Mary, uh, Maggie got involved so fast in the global community and was able to just do it. So she is just part of something bigger. That's her motivation. And at conferences, she always meet great people, and they just ask her for help, and she's always there for a helping hand. It's, she's doing it for friendship. And also she likes to write articles um, and so she, so she can help increase awareness for Joomla by writing some dossiers about CU and Megasense. And the good thing for her is also that her name is printed below. That's um, hobby and also self-benefit um, self in the way of attention. So now we have all the motivations and we can When, when we look at these motivations, there are a lot of duplicates. <coughs> and when we delete the duplicates, we have just uh, five left and can transform them into core messages. But these core messages are not uh, claims. 
it's just a subliminal message you want to transport with your uh, communication. For the one who wants to give back, the core message could be people helped, um, you learning Joomla, you're earning money with, with it, do you want to give something back? For the self-benefit, um, volunteering for Joomla can also help your career and business. You can improve your skills and learn from others. For increasing self-confidence, the core message could be by volunteering for Joomla, you have the chance to get involved in global topics and can put your name below. For hobby, volunteering for Joomla can be done in different interesting working groups. You can decide yourself how much time you can spend. It's always fun. For friendship, with Joomla, you can meet people who are working in the same work business area. By volunteering, you can do co-working and find new friends. And these core messages you can transport in different ways, not just only in advertising, also in blog posts, in social media and documentations, and downloads, customer rewards, mer merchandising, public relations, and many more. It's not about creating just the right claim. If you know your core message, you know what you want <coughs> to transport to your um, customers or not, or not customers. A common mistake is that just taking something and putting it in a form and uh, because everyone is doing advertising like this or communication like this and a website looks always like this so I'm doing it also like this. That's a mistake. You, you first should look who is your customer and then develop your own thing. Um, no, I don't know what's the next slide. Yeah, I, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> At Tuesday, I created a Facebook fan page about unicorns. And I thought I would invite some people, but the most important person I wanted to invite was Crystal. <laughs> I made a mistake in communication because Crystal hates unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> so when we looked at the fans, I spent no budget on it. And I just know um, two or three persons liking the page um, without budget. <laughs> I have already 50 fans. Maybe the side <laughs> will grow. <laughs> Huh? I'll like it for you right now. Uh, so Crystal's motivation for liking it now, it's uh, friendship. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, it's not only about Facebook pages or websites, it's also about merchandising. You can do all the mistakes in merchandising. Do you want this uh, unicorn? <laughs> There are good and bad examples. Um, there are also good <laughs> examples. I don't know if you saw um, on the at at lunch there were this this flyers or how to call it table table tops. Um, enjoy your meal. Sit back and relax. Don't panic because Akiba is doing the job, and that is the perfect example of um, how to. Uh, use motivation. What do you want to do? You want to relax. You don't want to think about it. And that's a perfect example how to use motivations of group, user groups. Um, and the second one is uh, I got this chocolate from Joomla Day UK. Mm -hmm. It's also um, the text is uh, emergency backup chocolate bar for immediate relief of anxiety, fear or hacking attempt. Directions to use, install a keyboard backup, take a backup, unwrap eat chocolate and relax, you're ready for anything, well done. <laughs> and that's really a perfect example for it. Uh, yeah. um, 
I also have um, some commercials with me, but we have no speakers here. Let's see if you hear something. because you need some nails or boards. Um, you buy it because you're proud of your work, you celebrate yourself and you create awesome stuff. That's the core message, I guess, from this commercial. And it's a very, very good example. Others could say, uh, we have cheap boards, we have nails, we have this, <coughs> and that's not that effective like um, um, yeah, developing the strategy like this. I have a second example with me. I put um, subtitles on it and they are not proofread, so I, I hope they are right. Uh, it's about uh, music apps uh, similar to Spotify. I have mir das jetzt den ganzen Morgen mit angesehen. Und ich bin hier, um Ihnen verdammt nochmal zu sagen, was für ein geiler Typ Sie sind. Hier, die nehme ich mit. Zum Üben! Damit ich eines Tages genau so werde wie Sie. Sie sind befördert! Sie haben übrigens sehr schöne Augen! Ja! Hör jetzt nur noch, was du hören willst. Mit dieser hast du die ganze Welt im Hört sich gut an. Jetzt die dieser App herunterladen und neue Lieblingssongs entdecken. <lacht> Just hear what you want to hear. Um, you're not subscribing to a music app because you want to hear random music. You want to be the one who decides uh, what's on the playlist. Uh, you want to have a large range uh, to select from. They told them in the commercial and you, have, you just want to try it out. Um, so the two examples don't say you're good, cheap, easy, fast, flexible or free. Um, they say, I make you proud for the Hornbach example. And they say, I make you be the one who decides. <coughs> um, some numbers on this. Um, to grab the attention of the recipient, it takes about 0 0.8 to 1. Two seconds. Um, then, in this seconds, he decides uh, if he wants to read your advert or see your communication stuff. And um, by doubling the budget, um, you can increase your market share by about three percent. When you increase your creativity by twenty percent, <coughs> this uh, number is generated by market research. Um, you can increase your market share by uh, 0.5%. But when you increase the intelligence uh, behind a campaign, uh, it in results in 16.1% increase of market share. That says that uh, creativity is nice, but not everything. Like with the example with Bristol's fan page, um, I did not spend any cent um, to to have fans on the page, but it, they come from somewhere because, um, yeah, um, they like unicorns <laughs> 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 or friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So determine who you are, what do you offer, what's your USP, what are your consumer groups and what are their motivations and um, improve so your product, service and communication. It's not, not only about advertising, it's also not only about marketing, you can also improve your extension or what you're doing. So by planning communication, share your uniqueness, don't be generic because you're not generic, you're special. Um, by the way, it's cool to know the motivations by, from volunteering. Uh, how about joining the volunteering session tomorrow? <laughs> uh, to make it happen uh, from 2.45, uh, open end. Uh, would love to see you in the marketing group and help us out uh, with some topics and developing this further. Thank you. <laughs>